guys, it's Tanya. I am back. I am going to try to make the cover for this. I have an idea. I have um, kind of an idea of what I want it to look like. So I decided to do a soft cover and I am doing a file folder um, cover. I am using these black file folders that your girl bought a hundred of. I don't know why I did that, but I did. <laughs> and um, so what I was thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I want it to look kind of old, of course. And I did order some William Morris fabric, but it is not here, and your girl is impatient. So, what, that, that was my chair, y'all. So what I was thinking about doing is using these, right? And collaging these together. I think, I think they're really pretty. I love how that looks. Um, yeah, and I, I really like this, this part right and then put this with this some type of way and maybe put some lace on there what do you guys think yeah so we're gonna we're gonna do that I think okay so um, I have my file folder and what I did was I took it and um, you see this line I used this line and I measured how big I wanted my spine so I'm gonna do a two and a half so I did two and a half and I scored it so now it looks like this, right? Okay. And then, so for my cover, how I'm going to do that? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. So I know that, so this is my spine. So this right spine. Right there, right? And then I know I'm probably going to want a fourth of an inch away. So I'm going to mark that, right? Right there. And then I'm going to take my um, signature and I am going to line it up like that just right Then I'm going to take it and I am going to mark just maybe another mm, another fourth of an inch right there okay so we we'll do it like that so we are going to make a line all the way down like that, okay? And then, I'm, that line probably is not straight, but that's okay. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to line it up like this again. And I'm going to bring it down at the bottom like this. And I am going to mark another little sticks off like this so this is my cover okay this is that's my cover okay. so I am going to measure it on this side as well right so when I cut it it'll be cut right like this right like that okay so I don't know if you can see my lines you probably can't I probably should have used the white but here they go right here and right here and so I'm going to measure this again so let me see how what's the okay all right so it's right here so I'm going to take it where my spine is right there and I'm going to mark that right there. And I'm just going to measure it, kind of, because I'm, I can, okay, all right, so there you go. So my book probably is going to be about, let me make sure my spine is um, straight, make sure it's straight. That line looks cricket. It really does. So I might have scored it cricket. And I'm just making sure we got what I need is right. So I will take my bone folder and score it down there. Like that. There you go. It was a little cricket. And then I will just 
fold that like this. Right? Like that. There you go. All right. So, with that being said, we will um, compensate for that on this side, okay? So, I'm going to cut it out. So, my, my book is probably going to measure six and three fours by eight and a half. So, that's a good size book, okay? So, we are going to cut this out. Okay guys, so this ruler says it's six inches and one sixteenth. So we are going to measure that on this side. Um, right here, like that. And then we are gonna come and we're gonna place a mark right there. And we are gonna cut this off. Y'all, I love that ruler. I don't care if it is just a piece of paper uh, glued on or however, but I love it. I mean, who, I mean, how many people you know know those little tick marks on a ruler? Not very many people. They don't know. Okay, so now let's see if it works like I want it to work. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, that works. Let me make sure I'm gonna have to, probably should have. Um... Yeah, perfect, right? Okay, so that is that. I'm hoping that is right. You know what? I should have probably reinforced this spine. I will do that after. Do I want to reinforce some spine now? Yes, let's let's do that right now. Um, I'm going to use another um, file. I'm going to use this file folder, piece of the file folder, and I am just going to go in like this, and I am going to do it like that, and I am going to. And I am going to cut it like this, right? And I cut it down just a little bit so that it can fit real snug in there. I want to make. I'm going to cut it down a little bit more. Okay. All right. So we have that. Guys, that mark, that sound is like literally my chair. That is not me <laughs> on camera. I would never do that. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to do this, like this, right? Because I do want it to be a soft cover. But I do want it to have some type of... Um, some type of stability to it as well. So, got this, right? Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, now it stands up like it's supposed to. And let's see if... Okay. Now, let's see. Alright. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That fits perfect. Perfect! Okay guys, so you see my trial and error with this, right? So we have this, right? So now what we need to do is I am going to add some batting because I am. <laughs> you totally do not have to do this part. I am going to do this part. So what I'm thinking, yeah, I don't know. I think I might add a separate piece for this piece. I'm going to add a separate piece for the spine and then I'm going to, yeah, that's how I'm going to do it.
Okay guys, I have covered my file folder and I am just picking out a section that I want and I am going to cut um, a little bit, maybe like an inch around like that, right? And OMG, Tanya. Okay, so that is that, right? And then I know on the front I'm going to like put um, some um, like textile pieces on there so I think I'm going to use this part for the back because it's so pretty, right? That's like, I think that's what I'm going to do. So, guys, I am totally just winking, winging, winging this. So, <laughs> I had an idea and we're trying to see if it works. So, that's, that's what we're doing, right? Okay guys, so this is what we have, right? And I like it so far. And let's see before I go any further if this is gonna work. And it does, it works perfect. I like how the length and everything. So that's gonna be good, okay? So got that, right? So how do we do this part? I don't know. This is new territory for me. Um, you know how you see um, my inspiration for this cover is coming from Moonside Parlor, uh, Penny and Rose, Amity Bloom. So I have a lot of inspiration. It's just that, you know, can you do it? I don't know, you know? So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try, you know? And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Okay, guys, as you can see, I have like a complete mess <laughs> on my desk. So, um, I don't know what we're doing. I don't. I know I have a lot of inspiration, and I'm going to try to do what, the, what those ladies do, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. So, but I'm just layering um, things. I have an idea, you know, and I know I want to keep it. A little bit away from the um because I know I want to make a okay so I know I want a border um, 
Okay, guys, so I think what I'm going to do, y'all, this is this is really hard. <laughs> um, so, but I, I think I'm going to put this down. I don't know. I kind of like this side. I think I'm going to go with this side, right? I'm going to do it like this, like that. Um, so that's four, right? Like that. I like that. Right? Okay, so I got so far, I got this part, right? And so I have this, and then I have this piece. So it's like, maybe if I like, did it like this, right? Wrinkled it up, and then like added the velvet strip in there. And then I think I'm going to put some buttons on there. So I think I'm going to do it like this, and we're going to just like add it towards the end, like that, you know? Guys, I don't know, but I think kind of that's, that's where I'm going to go. So I'm going to glue all of this down. I'm going to sew around. I, I believe I'm going to sew around. I'm very nervous, because what if I sew around it and I don't like it? You know what I mean? Mm. But we're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. Okay guys, so I decided on this layout for the cover. Um, I glued it down lightly with Fabri-Tac so it wouldn't move. I don't know if I'm going to like this, <laughs> but we will see once everything is sewed and um, sewed around if I'm going to like this. I don't know yet. Okay guys, I wanted to show you um, me sewing it around so like I sewed around right here all the way around right and I sewed the um, spine but kind of messed up a little bit but I think that's okay and um, I haven't sewed this down yet because I'm really nervous about it <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a straight stitch and I'm gonna just I'm just gonna sew I think I think I'm just I think I'm gonna take a straight stitch I don't know I might you know what, I'm, I think I'm just going to do my comfort zone because this is really out of my comfort zone. So I'm going to do my comfort zone and do a zigzag stitch. Okay, I'm going to do that and I will come and show you what it looks like once I do it. Okay guys, so I am almost done with the cover, I think. Um, I think I'm okay with how it looks. I'm going to try my best to sew on some beads and I've never done this before so I got these um, glass beads from the Dollar Tree um, I don't I have no idea what I'm doing but we are going to see if it works and let's see if I don't kill my fingers um, and I know you're supposed to like put like so many on the needle I believe, and I'm pretty sure if I would have picked them up and put them, you know, probably would have been better. So I'm going to do it like this. And all of you people that sew are probably like, that is not how you do it, Tanya. And you probably should have did it like this first. Which, I told y'all I didn't know what I was doing. Okay, so we're going to just go in there. I'm going to figure out where I want it, which I don't really know. I think I want it right here right yeah and since all my beads like left <laughs> I'm gonna just put them back on here okay you guys did you hear that they're falling on the floor because your girl don't know what she's doing okay all right and I'm gonna I don't know we're, we're going to see how it looks. And if it doesn't look right, then it just doesn't look right. And you could always... You can always do it another way, right? So, okay. But if it looks right, then, you know, that's cool. Right? Okay. Ooh, that turned out pretty, kind of. Yeah, what do you guys think? Okay, 
I don't necessarily know if this is how you close it, but um, this is how I'm going to do it. And I'm pretty sure I'm probably doing this totally wrong, but you know what? I am trying something new, you know, and um, taking you guys on the journey, right? Okay, and you're not going to see that anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Nope, it does not. Oh, I like it. I think it looks pretty. And so we're going to put a button right there. I probably should have added some more on there. But we'll just pull it like this. Like that. And we'll just we'll just tape it in the back. Nobody's going to know, right? <laughs> okay, so we're going to add a button. And you guys can see that your girl probably would have not made it as a seamstress, but that's totally okay. So this is what I have so far um, on the cover. Um, I did put some beads right here and then you know I added some right here. Um, I was going to put some right here but I don't necessarily know I'm going to do that. I'm going to add some down here at the bottom right here where you can kind of see. I, even though I sewed it on I glued it but I'm going to add some beads right there so you can't see that. So. Um, I might put some like right here in this corner just to even, you know, things out. Um, but yeah, this, oh my gosh, this right here, I know you guys can hear those beads dropping, was like very hard. You know, it was very tedious. Um, it is a very tedious process. So kudos to all the women who um, make... Um, these types of journals but I mean you know you always want to try you know just to try something different right so I'm glad I tried it and I'm glad it didn't turn out like horribly ugly you know um, but yeah so um, I hope Oh yeah, I like that. What do you guys think? I think it looks good, right? So we're going to just um, close it up. And then, so what I'm doing is, I don't, because I don't know if, you know, how to secure them, like, really, really good. I I mean, I know you just tie it and all that stuff, but what I've been doing is um, putting masking tape on where I have, where I put it in there, where I, like, put this knot. Um so that it, it can hold it a little bit better. Um, I know maybe I'm just being extra, but I'm doing that anyway, All right? So I'm gonna go and I'll put some masking tape underneath it. But this is what it looks like so far. I like it. Um, what do you guys think? Oh, oh, and I changed this, because at first it was just a red, regular gold button, but I changed it. I think I, th I thought it looked really well with it. Um, I think I'm going to add some of these um, glass beads right up here. Just a few, like right there. And then I think we're going to call it done. Um, I'm going to try my best to hurry up and finish this so that we can, um, you know, we can do a flip through and I can get it in my Etsy. So hopefully I can have that done by this weekend. We will see. 
Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I um, hope it wasn't too long. So, oh, I'm tripping. But I'm going to add this up to right here. And that's it, guys. So we are done with this. Um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I hope you guys um, find the tutorial useful. And God bless. Bye, guys. Okay.